From Connecticut, right after high school, I moved to Hollywood. Eventually got evicted because my band ran out of money and uh, I moved in with my girlfriend who was living in an apartment in Fullerton. And I worked at the Tower Records in Anaheim. I got that job at Tower and then I transferred to the Tower on Sunset Boulevard. And that's where I met the Weezer guys and we formed the band. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of bands these days. Like, the band in the traditional sense right. and in the way that um, I sort of grew up playing music. I just wrote by myself for many years and then finally started collaborating with other people about 10 years ago. And it's just, it was very scary at first. Almost all of my lyrics begin with conversation. I, I can't count how many lyrics I have that are just straight from my grandpa, just saying something really classic and like inappropriate at the time. <laughs> it's so good. Island in the Sun, I was just, I have no idea what it's about. It was just like one, just trying to come up with words that sounded nice and fit the melody. But that's pretty rare that I do it like that. Usually I'll have, I'll have like a page of notes of something I'm thinking about or obsessed about some kind of problem, dilemma. The Green Album, our third album, it's probably no emotional attachment at all. And the album before that, Pinkerton, it's like, I was just singing about the most mm, kind of embarrassing and, and painful thoughts I was having and my feelings. And yeah, it's tough to present that to your bandmates or to the record company or the producer or, and then to the world and the radio stations. It's, it's a, it's a little awkward, yeah. Especially when they don't like it. What is that, the Scylla and Charybdis? I don't know if you're... What's that? <laughs> um, it was like these two monsters in the sea and you gotta navigate that course right between them. If you go a little too emotional, then you get eaten by this monster. Right. If you're a little too shallow, then you get eaten by the other. Got it. So it helps to have a friend so when you're navigating that course. How are you feeling about playing Coachella? I am very excited, but very nervous. Just being from here, I have a lot of a lot of friends and family, and a lot of questions. <laughs> I mean, when Weezer started, there was nothing like this. You always looked forward to going abroad to play the big festivals. That's where the legendary shows were, and now the biggest one is right here in Southern California. We, we played 2001, and if I remember correctly, we actually had to give back part of our fee because they were, <laughs> lost so much money. <laughs> and then we played it again in 2005. It was massive. All I remember is that Justin Timberlake was there watching Weezer. And yeah, that was like, whoa, <laughs> this, is, this is big. We love playing, like, the little underplays in a small club yeah. for a couple hundred super hardcore fans. That's incredibly fun. But then you go to do a, a big festival and it, there's a lot of people there who've never heard Weezer before. And that's gratifying in another way because you can win people over and you feel like you're, you're growing and making some kind of progress. Don't bother to pack your bags or your mouth. We won't need I, I really like your version of Holiday. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. Holiday, far away to stay.